Good morning, evening, afternoon. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It's been that long since I made a video. I can't remember how I open videos. Good morning, evening, afternoon. Oh, no, what is it? Good morning, afternoon. Yeah. There we go. Good morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching this video. It's been a long time since I did a video, but here we are. Today we're talking about, that's the wrong way around. Today we're talking about, oh, it's rusty though, isn't it? Oh, let's, let's limber up. Let's, come on, stretch it out. Come on, just oh, back in the game. Today we're talking about Pop Cherry by Dua Fragrances. This, as you may know, is a clone of the Tom Ford fragrance, Lost Cherry. Let's have a little discussion on how close they are. I'll openly say straight away, it's been a, quite a while since I smelled Lost Cherry, okay? But I feel like I can remember it enough to say that there are differences, okay? This fragrance by Dua Fragrances definitely, in my opinion, goes for like a warmer, sweeter, thicker scent. I feel like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford is a more juicy, tart kind of cherry note. Whereas this one is is one of your, one of your classic winter warmers. Is this one? You know what I mean? When it's brrr, like it is at the minute, you just spritz this on. Ooh, a nice warm hug. Let's talk about the notes in this fragrance. We got black cherry, bitter almond, cherry liqueur, griot syrup. I don't know what that is. Turkish rose, vetiver, roasted tonka bean, and sandalwood. So. First thing to say about this fragrance by Dua is it's an extract to parfum and it's a beast. It's gonna project like most of their fragrance, it's it's a you know it's a blast. If if you're gonna be going into a perhaps a small room or a you know whatever room with a lot of people and you don't wanna you you don't wanna fill that room up with the scent, it's best to spray this on a good 10-15 minutes before you walk in. You're still gonna make a loud statement, but trust me, if you're in a room and you spray this, everyone is gonna smell it. Um, which isn't a bad thing, but some people don't want that, so I'm just letting you know. I've had it on now for about three hours, and it's, it's still going strong. Um, the nice thing about this fragrance is it does stay mostly the same, but the cherry note just keeps going up and up and up, in my opinion. It's beautiful, it's really nice. I will say that even though I wear this from time to time, I bought it for my girlfriend, and she's the main wearer of this fragrance. I do feel it leans more slightly feminine in that sense. But yeah, with this and with that roasted tonka bean, with the bitter almond, with the syrup, you're gonna get a sweet, warming, cozy fragrance, but quite a loud fragrance as well. So, you know, you don't wanna be going heavy on the sprayer, especially if you're just having like a cozy night in. I could imagine it working best on like nights out and things like that. But it's, it, it's, it's nice, guys. It's, it is ultimately gonna be bad for the colder weather. Um, like I said, I'll happily wear it, but it is more feminine leaning. I'll pop on a video now where my mate Sam smells it for the first time, and then after that, I'll just talk about the prices, where you can get it from, and whatnot. Hi guys and gals, I'm joined by a friend of mine, Sam. You may have seen him on the channel before. He's gonna now smell this fragrance. I haven't told him what it is. I'm sure he hasn't smelled it before, but he's just gonna give his honest first impressions. That was a big old spray. What do you think of that? Oof, that's, that's filling up the room now. <laughs> I will say this is an extract de parfum. So I don't know if you've ever smelled an extract de parfum. You've no. got eau de toilettes, eau de parfums, and then extract de parfums, which are really, you know, heavy hitters. You've also got like eau de colognes and eau fraiches, but they're not as common. But I, I like it though. Yes, yeah. it's strong. Definitely. It's very strong. Yeah. It's like fiery, like to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fiery in the sense of like you can picture it in cold weather, like a warming. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. like a like almost a heat smell to it. I yeah, think. yeah. Any particular notes? Is it reminding you of anything? It's quite it's like a spicy, like warm. That's all I get from it. Like a it, that makes sense. It does make sense. So this fragrance is called Popped Cherry. Okay. By Dua Fragrance. You can almost tell how strong it's going to be based on like, I don't know if you can see it there, the oh, colour yeah. of the juice, very dark. This is from Dua Fragrances, which I know you smelled a few Duas before. Mm. Um, this one is a clone of a Tom Ford fragrance called Lost Cherry. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it, it's in like a red bottle. Yeah, yeah. I it was I yeah, released maybe a year ago now, I think, but that's what this is going for. Yeah, you can smell the cherry. Yeah, it's, it's got like a cherry vibe going on. 
I smelled Lost Cherry a while ago, and I think it's close, but I think this is more like warming, like yeah. you said, whereas Lost Cherry is perhaps a bit more tart, a bit more juicy. But yeah, I definitely pick up like a warming, like um, almondy, cherry, yeah, yeah. marzipan-y. Definitely, like when you say cherry, you can smell it straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it has got like a lot of warmth to it as well. Masculine, feminine? I, I think you could both, both yeah, 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 a woman or a man. I totally agree. I bought this for my girlfriend, um, but I like it both parts. It smells yeah. great on her, and I'd happily wear it as well. It smells a little bit like Goulon, Lom, Ideal, EDP. There's a lot of words for it, but you probably know what I'm on about. I'll leave it again in the description. Out of 10? Yeah, I, I really like that. I'd, I'd say easy an 8. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a good price as well. I'll, I'll hopefully leave it somewhere else in the review, but like 30 mil, you smell how strong it is. It's gonna last yeah, oh yeah. one or two sprays, especially now it's like the middle of December. Great, Great. winter fragrance. Mm -hmm. And that's it guys, that's Pop Cherry by Dua Fragrances. You can look on their website. They, I, I see them more of a, as a clone house, Dua, if, if you haven't you know heard or seen them before, I'm sure you have. But yeah, they do a lot of clones of fragrances that are normally much more expensive, but they do have their own original fragrances as well. I'll try and leave the, um, the website in the description below. Uh, this one I think retails $65, which equates British pounds normally about 50 quid, something like that, 55 quid when you do the, the track, the shipping and, and whatnot. But Dua Fragrances are a sucker for a sale. You, you just hold on. Unless, unless they're doing a limited run and it could sell out, which a lot of them do because they're a very popular house, um, they normally have a good 20%, 25% sale going on. These are the new bottle designs, just to last quickly touch on. These are the slightly older bottle designs. I do, I'm a, I'm a fan of these, if I'm being honest. These ones, I never had much of a problem, but yeah, it's sort of got, I don't know if it's, is it coming through on there? It's starting to get a little bit sticky around the sprayer. These ones, big fan, still 30 mil. And there we go, guys. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment below. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a video and I look back and I know that some of the videos were quite lengthy. I wouldn't want to listen to myself for that length of time, so I doubt you guys would. So I'm trying to compress and make it a bit shorter. I realize now what I'm doing is the opposite of that, so I'll just end it there. Do a fragrance. Pop Cherry, great fragrance. More feminine, lean in. Hope you enjoy it. Winter warmer, great fragrance. $65, go.